All right, guys, welcome to week six, level one. Today, we're going to go through a dynamic warm up, sup the spine, in, uh, progress on our Pilates, and use some banded resistance exercises in there as well, just for an added challenge. Uh, then, we're going to hit up some triangle flows uh, and then go into some functional strength, focusing on using bands to do a deadlift. Uh, we'll do some split squats bent over rows, single leg heel raises, all right? So you can use a weight or not, depending on where you're at. And then we'll do our warm down flow. So it's a nice, nice session there, okay? So let's start off with our dynamic warm up, jogging on the spot. All righty, exhaling, dropping down. Jogging on the spot again. Okay. Into a lunge, dial in your first couple of lunges. That's it. And then reaching down forwards. Okay. One more on the left, one more on the right. Uh, sorry, twist. Mix up your twist angles, up across, down, down. In the middle, in the middle, up, up, down, down. Last round, up, up, in the middle, Middle, down, down, jogging on the spot. Ladder lunges with your twist. That's it. Dropping down into that ladder movement as much as you feel you're able to when you're ready. Swap it up. Make sure you're well warmed up before really progressing that lateral step. Jogging on the spot. So grabbing your bends. We're going to do squats with an overhead press for an added bit of a challenge. Off we go. Squat and press. Keep your hands up there if you want. That's even a bit more challenging again. Last one. Need good mo shoulder mobility and spinal mobility for that one. Okay. Reaching forwards, but this time you're gonna reach off to the side, okay? So re lunge, reach forward, off to the side. So you're adding in that little off center reach to either side of your foot, okay? Control it, push back. So you're working either the outside or the inside. That's one, that side. Last one there, lovely. Off we go into reaches. Whew. Whew. 
Keep it going. Nice and regular. Down, down, middle. Always mix up the sequence that little bit. Just keep your brain guessing. Okay, jogging on the spot. And interlateral lunges. Twist or scoop it, whatever way you want. Off the side. That's it. All right. Happy out. Down onto all fours. Into the supple spine. Exhale, arch up. Inhale, hollow down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Hollow down, let the chest sink through, arch up, push through. All right, into our bird dogs, elbow to knee. And by all means, challenge yourself and lift that back foot off the floor. An extra bit of a stability challenge. And swap it. If you've got some tender kneecaps, extra padding, double up your mat and use a towel. Okay, lovely. Down into child's pose, dropping down here. And in this child's pose position, we're gonna twist to the left side, staying low, staying down there, and then twist to the right side. Okay, so this finger, these fingertips are like tappy tapping on the ground, not putting a huge amount of pressure through. Twist to the other side. And twist to the other side. And up we come, lean back, lean back, open up. All righty. Back on all fours we go and work in the T-spine. Keeping that left elbow straight as a die, reaching down the cross and opening up. That's it, swap the other side, reach down, open up. All the way down, across, open up and out. No problemo. Staying there on all fours and we're going into Spinal waves. Okay, arch up, all the way back, hollow down, come forward. Challenge yourself to go as far as you can before pushing up through. Lean forward as far as you can.
couple more. That's it. And bird dogs again. Elbow to knee. That's 10 reps on that side. Swap on the other side. Nice and controlled. There we go, into the spinal circles next. Going from side to side, arch up, come across the top, hollow down, go underneath. Shifting your weight from side to side as you do so. And swap the direction. Couple more. Lovely job, and we're back into child's pose. Dropping down and repeating the twist. Twisting left. Twisting right. And really get that breath in and out all the way. Up we come into our reach backs. So this time, let's progress it. Let's get our lean back going like this. Okay, now if you feel you need to use your arms, go for it by all means. But if you feel you can co control your body weight on the way back, let's go for that too. Big, big stretch down through the front of the quads here. Okay. Boy, they're tough. Last one. Oh, yeah. Okie doke. Happy days. So, and back down into our child's pose position from there, and we're going to do that side flex. Okay, so stay low, bring that left hand, or right hand, excuse me, over to meet the right uh, left side. So, I start again. Stay low into that child's pose position, bring your left hand down to the left side, bring your right hand over to meet it, and breathe in and out. You want to feel a big stretch down the right hand side of your trunk swap it over onto the other side right hand down to the right side bring the left hand over to meet it but stay low as doing while you do so Swap it over one more time, the other side. Like walk your fingers over there that little bit more. And breathe in and out of the stretch. Over to the other side again. stuff. 
Okay, that's our supple spine. So now, plaid is, grab your mini band, something like a green mini band, nothing too crazy on the strength. And we'll introduce that in a minute. Okay, so starting off on the back and lying on the back, you can put a pillow or a towel behind your head if you want. Knees facing the ceiling, hands facing the ceiling. Flatten your lower back as you exhale. So flatten your lower back into the mat. Ex uh, let your lower leg drop and your, so left leg, right hand. So opposite arm, opposite leg, drop, come back. Opposite hand, opposite leg, drop, come back. Now make sure that lower back stays flattened onto the mat all of the time as you do so. Back up. Tip that heel, come back up again. Slow is better than fast. Take a breather if you need to, okay? Tell me you might be getting tired, everything might start shaking a little bit. Again, opposite arm, opposite leg. Back up. Couple more rounds of this. And one last rep on this side. One last rep on this side. No bother, okay? So that's all good. Let's do some rotations. So in this position, I'll just go slightly diagonal so you can see it a bit easier. Put your arms out flat into a T position and you're just gonna let the knees roll over, but do not let your shoulders lift off, okay? So working over and back, over, and back. That's it, controlling over, using your tummy to pull it back to center, controlling over as the knees fall, and using your torso muscles to pull you back. So that's fairly straightforward. Okay, if it's not, keep repeating the same thing. If it's too, if it's easy, bring these legs a little bit higher up. Okay. And again, the main thing here is not to let your shoulders lift off the ground. Okay, go for it as far as you want to, provided your shoulder and hand do not come off the ground and you can actually physically pull the legs back up again. That's it. Down the other side. It just feels a bit tighter on my right. So if you wanted to get that movement freer, bring it to the end range. Breathe in and out there. Bring it back and see, can you just tease into that range bit by bit. All right, so it's a bit of a process. You gotta make the movement doable. Okay, so that's our rotations. Getting your band, hooking it around the feet. So appreciate now this is definitely a little bit more than a level one exercise, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I'll just demonstrate on this side. So you band on your insteps. So pull one knee up to your chest and lift up on the single leg bridge. And back down again. Off we go, single leg bridge. 
But again, keep that other knee right into the chest. All righty. Slowly up, hold at the top, lower down. Swap the side. That's 10 on that side, all righty. Happy days. Let's do a little bit of upper body work here. So up, sitting, long sitting it's called. Band between the feet, nice upright position and roll from here, okay? The main thing here is get your blade to squeeze back but keep the blade back there. We don't want to see it move like this. Swap the side, just firing up the back of the shoulders there a little bit. Nothing wrong with it at all. Lovely stuff. Now the last day we did hit up the hamstrings as well in these long lever positions. So, we go off the shoulders, heels out here, and we're just gonna lift up the bum in this position and lower down. Up you go and hold, and down. Okay, so if they're very easy, ridiculously easy for you, please do single leg versions. If not, just work the reps. Shake out the legs in between because your hamstrings are working like crazy in this exercise as well as all the rest of your bum and your back. And lower. Up. And lower. And we're now tiny bending the knees. Flatten your back into the mat first and then lift. Feel the control. And lower down. And we'll do one more. Lift. Lovely. Rolling over onto your right side, please. Into this position, support your neck here. And what we're trying to do here is we're gonna do a double leg lift. Okay? Lift like this and lower down. So it's lifting up straight. You're gonna be using these muscles in here in the side of your back and a bit of the outside hip too. But the inside of your back here is gonna be working quite a bit. Make sure to switch off completely between each effort. Challenges the balance as well. <laughs> if the outside hip is sore, or the, the hip you're on down here on the floor is sore, again, plenty towels, double up your yoga mats. Last one. And you're definitely feeling that, the burn up there now, you can feel it starting to fatigue, which is all good. Onto the other side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up we go. Lower. Switch off. Up we come. Switch off. Up. Come on. Up. And 
think two more now to match the other side. And down. Last one. Up. And lower down. Lovely stuff. So after that Pilates sequence, a little bit more in it than the last day, the single leg work's definitely more challenging, but it's a nice activation flow. Not, if you want to do more sets of that and you like it, that's fine. Just be aware of the cramping and fatigue as well that comes with it. That's all good. So next thing we're going to do is going to do two rounds of triangle and then go into our functional stuff. Okay, so starting from there on all fours, swooping down forwards into upward facing dog, tucking the toes into downward dog, stepping the right leg forward, and we're going straight down into our um, lizards with a twist, all right? Just have to loosen the mic there. Lizards with the twist. Working through. All righty. Up you come. Right triangle. Over the top and back. And down again. Five times, keep going. Last one, grand job, into the middle, rotate around, hinge down, 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 all the way, pushing back up again. So really get that nice hinge movement, all the way down and back. By all means, go work the upper body as well. Get those shoulder blade muscles into this W position. Okay, keeping the squeeze as you lower, feeling it all in the back of the hammies. Back up, left triangle, off we go, and back, all the way down, all the way back. Five reps, that's number three. Number five, and back, swiveling around into left lizard, dropping the elbow down and opening up. That's it. <laughs> Back into down dog. And child's pose. Well done. So, swooping down around again. One more round. Tucking the toes into down dog. Step lift and step the left. Okay, this time we're gonna plant the left hand down and open up to the right side. Okay. It's a bit more of a balanced challenge. Open that chest around, look up past your fingers to the ceiling. That's it. Up you come. Left triangle. Oopsie. Up. And I feel those Pilates side lifts really, really open up the side trunk. I find them really, really good. You can let me know what you think. W. 
And back up. Don't let the back arch. You want to get a lengthening and strengthening effect through the hamstrings as you do this. And off you go. And down. That's it. Open out to the right side. Right triangle, over and back we go. That's number three on the way down. And back. And four. And back. And five. And back. Pivoting around. Drop the elbow, sorry, we're going planting the right hand this time. And you can drop the back leg if it's a bit too much of a challenge. You can do this version, or you can go straight for the tougher one. Tucking back into the downward dog. And into Childs. Alrighty, so we're going to finish off uh, doing some deadlifts, crawling, split squats, bent over row, single leg heel raise. All right. So, banded deadlifts. You can use, you can step on a band. You can use a dumbbell, whatever you want to do. I don't mind. So here we are. I'm going to use two dumb two bands here, up and down. All right. Get those shoulders back. All right, two more. Deadlifts, all right. Into our crawling, so we're just gonna crawl in this position up and down along our mat. Keep it nice and strong. Slower movement, so that you're almost on two points of contact. Just to challenge the torso strength. All righty. Tricky enough, little one. Split squats, all right. Uh, I've called these dumbbell split squats. So look, I have a kettlebell here handy. You'll get the idea. So you can do it in the front position if you want to, like this. But if you like a bit of a challenge, we'll sneak in a little bit of core. So split squats on the left leg in front. That's eight reps. Split squats on the other side. And that's eight reps on the other side. Okay. What have we got? Bent over rows. Bent over rows with our band. Standing onto the band and pull away. Nice and slowly up, keep the blade set. Control back down again. That's it. Okay. And single leg heel raises to finish. So grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell and we'll do heel raises. Up, slowly down, up, slowly down. Do not flop down. Slow 
Snap the side. Lifting the other knee up. Up. Down. By all means, you can add a pop on the way up and slowly lower it. So that's me cooked at that weight. So that's our first round of those guys. Our first set. Let's uh, do another round anyway for sure. So you can continue doing your banded deadlifts or you can get your weights and do them this way. All right. So a proud chest, arms dead straight, slowly down and up. Deadlift is a strong movement, so you need a bit of weight to feel the fatigue, so it's up to yourself what weight you put on it. <sighs> Crawling flow again, let's go. Go for it. down on all fours, kneecaps off the ground, and <sighs> think you're about balancing, or visualize balancing a book on your back. That's it. If you've got a long hallway, keep going up and down the hallway instead of just going up and down the mat. But, whew, just keep it nice and smooth. That's it. Nice bit of a challenge there. Dumbbell split squats. Off we go. Left leg out in front. Let's try and squeeze out 10 this time. Control the lowering phase. Yeah. Sop it up. Get that weight onto that front foot. Squash the arch into the floor. So you're using all of that foot, calf, quad, glute, everything. Eight. All right. Bent over rows with a band. Hold on. Keeping that back flat. That's it until you start feeling a bit of fatigue. And then you know you're not gonna max out, but that's all good. And single leg heel raise. Off we go again. Up. <laughs> 10 okay and one round of warm down flow so this is a longer session for the level ones but that's all good we're building so hook your right over left hug it into your chest and hold it there straightening up Stuff. 
four folds. Then get the left over right, hug it into your chest and straighten up then. And forward fold. So we're gonna do a 90-90, that dynamic 90-90 from side to side. Getting yourself down. That's it, last one on the right, last one on the left. Lovely stuff. Keeping the knees nice and wide, dropping in, dropping in. Working your internal rotation either side, keeping your bum or sitting bones on the mat. Lovely stuff, okay. Bringing the soles of the feet together. And we're gonna wrap it here with the butterfly for the groins. So thanks a million. See you next week for the last week of it. Keep up the good work.